building being investigated for possible asbestos exposure today. The emergency shut down Austin Municipal Court downtown. I wish that they would have let uh, put something out, let me know, because I just wasted my whole day today. City says concerns started after construction workers stirred up some dust, moving some ceiling tiles. KXAN's Alyssa Gord digs into the effects it's having on daily lives of Austinites. I took my day off of work just to come over here. So, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's the bummer. Jeremy Camarillo and dozens of others wound up shaking locked doors at the municipal court building. And then I came down here and to try to take care of the situation and nothing's here. You know, no, no information, no nothing. They peeked inside for signs of movement, but the only business going on is air quality testing for asbestos. The city got concerned after a maintenance project brushed up some dust. They decided Wednesday to close the whole building Thursday. Well, now I'm probably going to have to take my day off of work tomorrow as well just to come do this. The city says they're testing in an abundance of caution, but for people like Lonnie Burke, it seems like an abundance of stress. Depending on where I'll end up sleeping tonight, and so I don't know if I'll, you know, be able to make it back. Burke is homeless. He got a citation and is just trying to make it right. Try to stay out of trouble and everything. Now he doesn't know when his court date will be reset. He wishes he got a warning from the city. We got to do better. <laughs> yeah. They know ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? They should have done better. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And we just learned the asbestos test came back negative, so the court will be back open tomorrow morning. City officials say because of the court closure, all tickets due yesterday and today can be paid tomorrow. And the closure is impacting 125 cases today, but keep in mind that total could include multiple cases for one person. The city said all the defendants or their lawyers have been contacted about rescheduling. KXA News has been investigating issues with asbestos contamination inside City of Austin buildings. Earlier this month, we told you unauthorized work inside city-owned facilities used by the fire department, Austin Water, and Parks and Rec, potentially exposing dozens of workers in the past year and a half. The city manager's office has launched an executive review to find out why these incidents are happening. The results would then go to the city council for any possible changes to the city asbestos program. We uncovered this after our investigation of asbestos contamination exposing 120 workers at Austin's airport. You can see more of those investigations at our website right now, kxan.com.